my name is gorachand shah but i don't know who am i when i was 10 years old that time my friends were telling me about their aim of life they want to be a doctor scientist engineer police inspector lawyer etc but that time i did not know what is the aim of my life my life was aimless when i was 20 years old that time i started to feel that i am different than others i started to feel that i want to enter in the heart of everybody i want to win the heart of the world by my deep love after complete my studies i started to get a job and i got many jobs in different companies but for a few months as everywhere i was misfit i was dismissed from every companies and then i was jobless nobody was with me i was alone completely alone i was traveling here and there with deep mental agony one day i was walking on the street at midnight i was drunk suddenly an unknown old man come to me and touched my left shoulder i was surprised to see him he was telling me that he is a theater director then he asked me about my life i told him everything about my past and present life then he told me that forgot forget everything forget everything and come to my theater company i am feeling that you have a talent in acting which you don't know he told me then he gave me a job in his theater company really i am grateful to him and then i started my acting career in his theater company i learned many things about acting from him he teached me the grammar of theater acting he told me that an unknown an uneducated person cannot be a theater actor quickly i told him i am an educated person he looked at me and said me maybe you have read many books you have academic qualifications but you but have you deep intimacy to every stage or category of the society i answered him i am a part of this society and i know different kinds of people he gently smiled oh really do you know about the mentality of politicians i replied yes i know many people know about the uh, mentality of politicians he asked me are you politician i replied no but i like to discuss about politics again he, again he asked me do you know about the mentality of mad i told him i am not sure about their mentality he tell me that maybe you have academic qualification you have read many diff different kinds of books but it's true that you are an uneducated person i was speechless he telling me to understand about the mentality of politician you have need to deeply intimacy with them you 
यू हैव नीड टू फील दैट वाई दे आर स्टार्टेड दे आर पॉलिटिकल लाइफ ऑल दो आई एम नॉट सेंग यू टू जॉइन इन एनी पॉलिटिकल ग्रुप और पार्टी एंड अबाउट मैट ट्राई टू ट्राई टू नो अबाउट हिज पास्ट लाइफ ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द कॉज ऑफ हिज प्रेजेंट लाइफ टू नो परफेक्टली अबाउट द मेंटेलिटी ऑफ साइंटिस्ट क्रिमिनल एक्सेट्रा इन द सोसाइटी यू हैव नीड टू डीपली इंटीमेसी विथ देम देन यू विल बी एबल टू बी ए गुड थिएटर एक्टर अंडरस्टैंड देन आई स्माइल्ड एनी वे आई वॉज इन दैट थिएटर टीम ऑलमोस्ट फाइव ईयर्स I have learned many things about acting that time and I have got my way which I was searching since long time in the theater team after 5 years I was thinking that now I have need to expand myself to many more people so I started to go in the film industry I started to go in the film companies I started to meet to many film directors and every film director was rejected me became hopeless I became hopeless everybody in the film industry is heartless but but I am a born fighter my heart is always burning for do something in the film industry as an actor i was determined to be a film actor i do not want to be defeated i was struggling every day to access in the film industry at any cost and then i started to think to enter in the film industry by another route I went to some private video companies they makes different kinds of devotional and historical dvds for sale to the common people they asked me about my past acting experience i told them about my acting experience of theater and they told me to show different kinds of uh, role to act in front of them to see my acting they were satisfied and then i joined in three private video companies as an actor in that video companies i was involved two years in that time my acted many dvds were released to the market and then i started to go again to the film directors of big screen i went to the film industry with my acted dvds i thought these dvds will be helpful to enter in the film industry for me i went to many filmmakers and give them my acted dvds but maximum filmmakers told me that they have no time to watch my dvds they rejected me again but two filmmakers were accepted me my dvds and told me they will watch my dvds if they like my acting then they will contact me i was very happy two weeks later a filmmaker called me i went him I went to him with hopeful heart. He gi- he gave me a role of hooligan just for a few minutes. Although this role is just for a few minutes, but I gladly thank him again and again. It was my first performance on the big screen. Then I was trying to participate in more feature films. I was doing hard struggle as my parents do not supported me 
I live alone in a home of my friend. But I don't know that how long time I will be able to stay his house. He is married and I am unmarried. To see his activities, I am feeling that his family members don't want to keep me in their house. I am always feeling very, very alone, helpless and unbearable mental agony. My life is gloomy. I am jobless. To live immediately, I have need a job. One day, I went to an other city for find a job. After that, through all the day, I traveled many places and at last, when I saw my wristwatch, it was 10 o'clock at night. I had only 10 minutes to reach the rail station. On the Otherwise, I would miss the last train. So I ran to reach the rail station as soon as possible. Just entering in the platform, I arrested by a ticket checker. As a result of hurriness, I forgot to collect the ticket. So I might pay the fine. In search of money bag in my pocket, I found there is no bag and money. I quickly searched everywhere of my body, but I did not find. On, on the other hand, I had a heart attack situation, intention and tiredness. I understood that either the money bag had fallen as a reason of hardiness or some pickpockets kind look attracted by this bag. Suddenly, a, a, an acute whistle looking to the 11th number platform. I saw that my last train was leaving the station. To understand him, I tried to my best, but that ticket collector did not pay any heed to my request. And as his usual with the intention of litigation against me, he reached the office room with me. Sitting me on a bench of the corner, he went to the besides room. In front of the table, an other ticket collector was busy about his two women hunting. Among these two women, my attention fall to one's eye and I clearly felt that that woman wanted to tell something by her eye language. I mildly little astonished. But after guessing her beckoning's meaning, I a think rushed into my brain like a thunder striking. I got back my sense and understand that she was saying me to leave away the place. I slowly stood up with a expression that I tried to spend my lethargy. Then, observing every sight, I saw that without only that woman, no one's attention was not to me. So, very carefully, step by step, I went to the door. I peep up the besides room through the right side door in the room and saw that my ticket collector handling constantly some files, possibly preparing for land me in difficulties. I was swayed by extremely anxious. Without any bound, I reached at the main door and found that there was not any gatekeeper. Then I was completely ready to escape. Bewardly looking every side, 
I began to run, stalking my life. I know that no one would suspect me because they think that I ran for train. I mixed in gathering people of the platform. After some time, aimlessly traveling, I saw that platform gradually become depopulated. I thought that as a reason of missing his hunt, surely that ticket collector was searching me with his teammate. On the other side, I found that some policemen were traveling, were traveling, so I might leave the rail station as early as possible. There were police and ticket collector in the gateway of the platform. So, so I am compelled to take the decision of going to the next station through the rail line on foot. To remember the God, I began to walk. After two hours continuously walking, suddenly two person come in front of me from the darkness. A person told me to show his knife that give us everything which you have. I told him about me, but he did not understand me. Then he attacked me. Quickly I moved from his line and punched on his face and belly again and again. He falled with bloody face. The second person attacked me behind of me. I hit him by elbow and fist like he, he ran away with fear. He was injured. Then I turned to the first person. But he was not there. He already ran away. Then I started to walk again. And after a half an hour, I reached to the next station and came back to my city by train. I was not getting any job. Without any job, my life was difficult to live. I ate only once a day and most of the time I used to drink only after drinking water. One day I thought of taking part in a political party. There, were, there was no other way other than this to life at that time. There, were, there, were no, there was no other way other than this to life at that time. If I start working in any political party, then I will not have to worry about eating and staying there, there every day. I mean, there mean in the political uh, party office. From that political party, I will be provided food and lodging. But the leader of the youth party in the opposition political party was a friend of my childhood. And the people living in the ruling party around where I lived. Ruling party office was almost everywhere. Most people were supporters of the ruling party. That's why I had no choice but to participate in the ruling party, to stay alive. But I, but I liked the idea of anti-political party. I was convinced that the development of our country will only be on the political ideology of the opposing party. My heart was telling me that to, to participate in the opposition political party. But my, but my mind was speaking to me to participate in the ruling party. Because if I participate in the opposition pa political party, then the people of the ruling party will not be alive. The people of the ruling party will kill me. And 
if i take part in the ruling party then my childhood friend who is the leader of the youth party of the opposition political party will be angry at me i did not understand what i should do then one day i went to my childhood friend i told him that i will take part in your political party he was very happy to hear this then he asked me that nowadays most people are supporters of the ruling party then why are you anxious to take part in an opposing team like us then i told him that maybe nowadays most people supporters the ruling party but in the future they all will be supporters of your political party because the ruling party is making progress in country there is no real progress is reality soon people will understand this the real vision of how the country's true progress can be realized is not to the ruling party in the name of country's progress the ruling party is cheating all the people most people do not understand that the ruling party is making progress in the country this is not a true progress in the reality the country will have to suffer its consequence the consequence will be very bad leader of the ruling party people are all selfish they are they are plundering the country of their own benefit but all this will not last long but this belief of this countryman towards the ruling party will be broken soon then everyone will reach out to a political party whose party leader is a true country lover ready to do anything for the progress of country then everyone will support your political party because the ideal of your political party is great your political party can only make our country great to listen my lecture he is he was very pleased on me then i came back to my residence and until now i am struggling i am battling my own life for stay alive until now i want to access in the film industry as an actor but i don't know how it's possible because my everywhere is darkness i am going alone i am alone completely alone i am alone very alone i don't know how long time i will be able to stay alive i have nothing but i have dream only dream and and a strong mind that's all my friend that's all